Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can vet Airbnb guests or screen them to see whether they're a good enough guest or not to minimize the risk of them actually doing damage to your property. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I am on a article on an article on your rentals which covers how to screen guests very efficiently and effectively and this sort of applies to all uh, online travel agencies including airbnb verbo booking.com and so on so let's get into how you can screen them now uh, as i've mentioned it is a good idea to screen them in case they are the type of guest that likes to rent out a property and just go wild in it some people just like to throw parties some people like to damage property and steal things from the property so you do need to screen the guests before they actually arrive or before they book to see if you want to cancel ahead of time and not allow them to stay so let's get into the methods that you have to check uh, now firstly you need to go check their guest profile uh, and that is useful so you see any sort of signs that they aren't a good guest for example if they're a first time visitor or if they're this is their first time using an online travel service you might want to be a bit more uh, cautious with them so that you can actually see if they're good or not since if they're first it's their first time traveling you won't have any or much information uh, based on which you can go off of now uh, if somebody has uh, an incomplete guest profile uh, you can tell them that you want people who only have a complete guest profile uh, so just politely let them know that you do, wouldn't like them to rent it uh, and if they want to rent it you need them to complete their guest profile and that's pretty much it uh, explain to them that it takes a couple of minu minutes and that it, it's an easy process to do and that's pretty much that for that step other than that you'll have to monitor uh, the messaging and during messaging uh, you'll see if the guest isn't open or attentive uh, if they're trying to hide something from you or something of the sort if they're a bit you know beating around the bush uh, they might be a bit suspicious then that is a sign that you might not want to accept them as a guest and if it's a mixed group you want to check uh, from the person that you're messaging with uh, the constitution of the group who else is in the group the age structure if they're going with I don't know four friends if they're all in their mid 20s to late 20s uh, or if they have kids you just want to know, find out the age uh, range and base your uh, risk evaluation on that other than that just ask for a reason for the trip if it's a relaxing break family holiday or friend getaway if it's a friend getaway it might be a bit uh, riskier than just a relaxing break or a family holiday since people ju that just go on break they want to just relax and not do anything and family holidays while kids can be a nuisance they usually just don't create much of a mess however there are some families that do so keep that in mind as well other than that as I've said, check if the, it's their first uh, time staying and if they understand the booking conditions uh, or if they understand that booking conditions are different to a hotel. Uh, for example, there is no housekeeping. They uh, can't get uh, their place cleaned up after them and the house should be uh, looked after during the stay and ideally left in the same state it was when you arrived or when the guest arrived. So make sure they... Uh, are aware of the rules other than that if you feel uncomfortable with them you can just easily decline the booking and that's pretty much it uh, other than that you can check the reviews on their account uh, or feedback from the owners or property managers with whom they stayed in the past and that can help you decide if you want to accept them or not since they are mostly uh, accurate some owners just go wild as well and they don't have a respect for guests however most of the time they should be accurate and they should be a good sign if the guest is good or not and that is pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be seeing you guys next time